and welcome to a special Halloween mini-sode of the Oddity Archive, complete with guest rainstorm. Having said that, I'm not sure what makes it so damn special, given that it's kind of perpetual Halloween in Archive Land, isn't it? But nonetheless, I've got a Halloween album to review here today, so let's get to it. And today's album comes to us from my old friend Mike, uh, formerly known as The Movie Explorer. So today's album is Haunted House. So creative. And uh, don't let that artwork fool you. This is not a bootleg. This is 100% legit. And uh, also regarding that artwork, this is from 1985, even though it looks a lot more like 1965. Now, uh, I admit, this is just another sound effects tape, right down to the half haunted house, now obligatory haunted house collage, and half individual sound effects compilation. But what sets this one apart is... This is the cheapest sounding one yet. In case you didn't get the hint, this album is much more notable for its technical shortcomings than the content itself. I mean, the only people that are ever going to find this album even remotely scary would be snooty audio engineers. As such, I'd like to play a little game throughout today's episode. And this game was established by Todd Rundgren back on his Something Anything album from 1972. Now, side two of this album, on vinyl at least, kicks off with Todd giving a little spiel about the sounds of the studio, and on that track he rattles off a bunch of editing glitches and stuff like hiss and hum, and the name of the game is to find as many as you can. So, keeping in spirit with the old Toddster, I want you to keep track of all the flaws that you notice in this recording, leave them in a comment, and whoever finds the most... I don't know, maybe I'll give you the little heart icon-like thingy. Speaking of bad engineering, I myself got a little scare out of this album. About two-thirds of the way through the main haunted house sequence, the sound effects mostly start playing at you know, maybe half speed, maybe even less. I briefly thought my tape deck was dying on me. Ha 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 ha!
I don't pretend to be an expert on soundscapes, but my main beef with the main haunted house sequence is that, to me, cacophony does not necessarily equal creepy. And I really wish somebody would have told the makers of this album just that, because all too often it just becomes reverb-addled noise. And I also really wish somebody would have told them that mission bells do not reside in the living room, haunted house or not. As I mentioned at the top of the episode, side two of this album is a compilation of the individual sound effects that were used throughout the main haunted house sequence that took up side one. Now, it's pretty well known that consumer sound effects records draw pretty heavily on existing professional sound effects and stock music libraries. So I'm guessing it was in the name of making it their own, uh, if not that, maybe something slightly less wholesome. But they took these obviously needle drop sound effects and all too often would drown them in woefully ineffective processing. Well, that's it for today's archive. Join me next time when I uh, start freaking out about what the hell I'm going to do for this year's holiday episodes. As for Halloween, well, I don't get to participate in the festivities this year. I've spent so much time working on our regular programming that things have gotten just a bit under-maintained around here. So... I get to spend my Halloween doing maintenance. Oh well, maybe next year. <laughs>